Hey, your mission is simple. Spot the difference. You're looking for evidence of land clearing between these two images. If you think you see it, click the squares. Once you've scanned the whole image, click Submit. Pretty easy, right? But what are we actually looking at here and how do we know that what we're seeing is evidence of land clearing? Let's get into it. You'll see two images side by side, the 2021 wet season on your left and the 2022 wet season on your right. If your slider is in the middle like mine is here, then you basically have the before on the left and the after on the right. So slide this way to get more of the before, slide this way to get more of the after. As you can see, some land clearing has appeared here, so you wanna go ahead and select those. It doesn't matter where your slider is when you select, the data is gonna come through to us exactly the same way. So you can go ahead and click Submit. But how do you know that what you're looking at is evidence of land clearing? We're gonna take a quick look at five different types of land clearing to look out for, and the top three mistakes to avoid when selecting land clearing. The first type of land clearing is broad scale clearing. As you can see here, we've got a clearly defined patch of land where all of the trees are gone. That's the easiest one to spot. The second type is edge clearing. So if you look at the difference between here, this clearing that is already defined along here gets bigger. Not as easy to spot at first glance as a whole patch appearing in the middle of nowhere. You're gonna see this along fence lines, along road lines, along the edges of previously defined clearing. The third type of clearing to look out for is thinning. As you see here, not all of the trees disappear from this area, but a significant number of these trees are disappearing. This is thinning. The fourth type of clearing to look out for is strip clearing. As you can see here, again, not every single tree is being removed. They're being removed in long lines. So if you see a stripey pattern pop up where there wasn't one before, you're looking at strip clearing. The last type of clearing to look out for is what I call patchy clearing. This is definitely the most difficult clearing to spot. So if you look closely here, you will see some patchy clearing appear. Definitely the hardest to spot at a glance, but if you go back and forth a few times, you will be able to identify it. Now let's take a look at the top three things to watch out for that we don't want you to select as clearing. You can see these brighter greens through here these smoother patches, they are crops, not native veg. So if that disappears, please don't select that as clearing. The second thing to watch out for is clouds. Now, if I change this from 2021 to 2022, I think it's pretty obvious where the clouds are and that you probably won't be tempted to select those as clearing. But what this does do is make it harder to spot other changes that have cropped up. So if you look over here between these two images, this clearing has appeared. So please don't select the clouds if you can identify them as clouds. And please do double check that some clearing hasn't snuck in there. And remember, you can always post about this on the forum if you're not sure what you're looking at. The third type of clearing to watch out for is clearing that may have happened as the result of bushfires. Now we've used some pretty advanced tech to make sure that any clearing that has happened from bushfires will not be in this database to start with. But if you think that that might be what you're looking at, check out the FAQ, check out the help section, post about it in the discussion forum. And that's it, you're ready to go. Time to jump into the tutorial and your first practice tasks.